Yo, shouts to Dogs and Acid Crew. I promised to do this video because I saw somebody ask about what synth to buy to do good 808 bass. And I wanted to do this video just to show you that you don't you don't need to buy any synth. You, your DAW probably has a synth that you can do 808s. So we're gonna go this way. So what's 808? It's it's the classic boom boom bass. It's either gonna be really snappy and short with a short click like boom, or it could be like boom. So let's do that. So you can do this with any synth in the world, pretty much with any modern doll. So I'll go for one oscillator. Let's start with a. Sometimes I start with with a square wave because it's gonna give you lots of harmonics. Let's actually take a look. So, so it's it's a little too noisy, so I'll just, I might just filter it down a little bit. So, let me mess with the pulse width. Okay, so I like this sort of tone. It's like it has a lot of force. So what I'm doing here is in this synth, well, pretty much any modern synth has a pitch envelope. And on analog synth in Ableton Live, its visual representation is pretty easy to understand. So. So it's like you you go this high once the sound starts and then you come back down this quick. So you can hear this. If you want the really short and snappy click. Now you get a whole lot of punch. Let's listen to sine wave. Now, this could be a classic trap bass. There's nothing to filter out here because sine wave doesn't have any harmonics, but we can change that. Let's take saturator, Ableton Live saturator. You can use any saturator in the world. There's lots of free ones and I'm sure your DAW has one. So take a look at that and also listen. So we're getting a whole lot of life here. I think the click is a little too drastic. Maybe the whole saturation tone is a little too drastic. But then again, it's it's totally up to you. Basically, so remember pitch envelope, like give it some initial pitch rise and then bring it back down and how quickly it's gonna come back down that sort of determines like is it like dong or is it do a lot of classic jungle and drum and bass uses bases like this when you make it really short it's like more percussive almost like in a lot of trap uses this sort of it's it's sometimes it's the kick and the bass at the same time when you go like this it's fairly effective in trap. So what else? I could go for chorus to make it wide. I see a lot of guys discuss like how do you make your 808s wide? Well, chorus is your friend. If you want to be really exact with this, what I do sometimes is uh, in Ableton Live, I divide the signal into high, mids and lows by using the multiband dynamics and soloing a band and doing three instances of that. So here, I don't want to spread the lows. So on mid chain, I could add chorus. So just make the mids wider. That is so nice. You have, you're going to have to use headphones to hear this. So also do not overlook the drum boss effect on Ableton Live. Let me disable saturator 
and let's drive this guy. Now, now listen to this. It has a whole lot of punch and just a lot of force. If I'm gonna go hard, I'll go hard. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting a lot of sob here. I hope you're using your your head headphones or have a n nice sub reproduction system. Also, what you can do with drum boss is listen to the transient. You're getting more punch here. Like another great tool. So. So my point was you don't really have Oh my god. <laughs> my point was you don't really need to Sorry. So you don't really have to buy any third party synth to be able to do 808 bass. Just start with a sine wave or a square wave and then let's give it a pitch envelope. Use some saturation distortion to give it some life, chorus to give it some width, and there you go and just make it your own. Oh, by the way, I wanted to do a little bonus tip. I forgot, sort of unrelated to 808s, but if you, when you're playing two sine waves, what I'm doing right now, I'm actually playing two notes instead of one and driving that, listen to this. So you're getting some nice wobble Definitely, it doesn't work with every layered note, but sine wave, two notes, saturated, super nice. So, okay, let me know how it goes. Peace.